glimpse inside my head You'd know I'm different than you What works for you might not work for me Cause that's our solid ground morning I had a really unpleasant surprise because the deer came back to see me and he ate all of the beet leaves like yesterday the leaves were up to here and they ate all of it actually I think it was just one one deer luckily they weren't too small um, there's a few that I can think I, I can eat but like they definitely could have done with a few more months on the ground Plus, I really like the, the leaves of the, the beets, like they're really delicious and I was really looking forward to eat them. <laughs> I guess I need to figure out a solution. At least they didn't eat the roots. I guess I'll have some beets today. The other day I was digging some holes to plant my tomatoes and I hit a huge rock. It's like from here to here and it might be even bigger because I haven't dug all the way around it and I would really like not to break this stone because I need stones to make my drywall uh, stone wall over there so I'm gonna attempt and see if I can lift it I've got a big lever uh, back there and if I can't then I think I'm just gonna use the jack hammer and maybe break it in two The more I dig, the more the rock comes out. It's so deep. I realize there's far too much rock down here. So I think I'm just gonna attempt and remove this, this rock here because it's quite flat and I think I can use it as a step for the stairs that I'm gonna do in the garden over there. And for the rest, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's moving! I see it's moving! Wait! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh boy! Oh! Look how much rock there still is under. Wow! Oh, even here it's rock! It's rock everywhere! Bloody hell! Oh! There's a... not a bullet. How do you call those? It might be just a simple hunting bullet or it might be a cartridge from the First World War because this area was an area of battles. I don't know! Considering that it was very, very much buried deep down, it might be a very old one. If anybody is an a expert, then let me know. I am done for today. I just went in and cleaned my filthy hands because I really needed them. And I used the soap from Blueland, which, guess what, is also the sponsor of today's video. Blueland makes convenient cleaning products that don't use single-use plastics in any of their components, whether that's their bottles, their tablets, the wrappers, or their shipping materials. I've been using the hand soap both in the bathroom and in the kitchen sink for the past few years, and I'm a huge fan of it. It not only smells amazing, but it keeps my hands soft, and it, most importantly, it helps me reduce the amount of plastic waste that I produce, and uh, that is a win-win in my book. The concept is smart, you get the bottle once and then you refill it using their easy to use tablets. The tablets are affordable at only $2.25 a refill and make for effective and super convenient cleaning products. 
All you have to do is drop one of their nickel sized tablets in a bottle and add some warm water to get a freshly brewed hand soap or cleaner. Blueland tablets don't include any harmful products and they are made with clean ingredients and they are also EPA certified which means that EPA scientists went through the whole list of ingredients and made sure that they met the safe choice strict criteria. The tablets come in a variety of scents, lately my favorite has been the evergreen which makes me feel like I'm in a forest of furs and if you are all set for hand soaps but you're looking for more um, sustainable cleaning options then Blueland also offers a wide range of uh, cleaning products from cleaning sprays to dish soaps. So if you'd also like to reduce your plastic waste and uh, maybe save some money and some space, you can go ahead and click in the link in the description bar. You will get 15% off your first kit and they don't do that often so you don't wanna miss out. I have a new obsession. Uh, which is sourdough. I've made my own starter last month and I only just started using it. I made my first loaf last week and it was delicious, but it didn't really rise. Um, so today I'm gonna try and make a recipe by the books and see if I can make a pretty like round boule of bread. I don't own a Dutch oven, which is what most people use to cook their um, sourdough. I'm thinking of getting one, but I honestly don't know which one to get because I saw that the really good ones are really expensive, like 200 euros. And I don't know if I want to spend that money, not knowing how much this obsession is gonna go on for. is very interested. Mm. I know. I find that it's a very long process. I'm gonna try different recipes that maybe are a little bit more less hands-on. But boy, it's worth the hassle. They're like calling each other. I need to make some kind of sign that says attention big dog because uh, the other day a courier came all the way up the road and entered the gate and came all the way up the the main door and nobody ever comes here so I got like a bit scared at first like when somebody knocked and I thought if Zuka was out I don't know how pleased he would have been about that he's a chill dog most of the time but I don't think he would appreciate somebody coming in his face that he doesn't know so I need to make some kind of sign that just lets people know that there is a dog around uh, and I'm gonna do that by carving a piece of wood with a dremel like thing 
I've never used the carving attachment, so we'll see if it works. make another one of those uh, just for further down the road but I'll do that another day I think now I'm gonna go and try a beer that I've bottled two weeks ago but it was actually from a kit that was expired a long time ago so I'm not too sure what the result is gonna be let's find out this is an IPA beer that I made about two months ago and it's actually the last kit I had. I don't know if I'm gonna buy more because I had a period where I really wanted to get like to make a lot of beer and uh, you know learn a lot about it but uh, sometimes you have hobbies that kind of go like you're very interested then you're not interested at all and in this period I'm not drinking beer or anything really at all I just don't fancy drinking alcohol so now I have like 23 liters of beer that I hope is gonna be good um, but I know that a lot of people don't like IPAs because they're like quite strong of taste so I want to get rid of them like I want to give them to people but it has to be good because if it's not nobody's gonna want it okay it's fizzing Ooh, ooh okay it's nice and fizzy Color is not bad. Ooh! One thing that I noticed with those kits is that they tend to be the the final beer tends to be quite dark. Even when I done a visor, which is like a a very light blonde beer, it was this color. So I'm not sure if I'm like heating the malt a little bit too much. Uh, but yeah, this one actually had a dry hops added halfway into the fermentation, uh, which is gonna give that. Uh, hoppy taste uh, even more so let's let's see it's delicious I'm so impressed okay maybe I don't need to give like most of it away maybe I can keep it for like I don't know how long does beer keep in like a dark place is it like one two years three years I don't know I'm impressed it's finally time to pick up the potatoes and I'm really excited because just a few weeks ago I picked out about um, one third of the field because I had planted those potatoes earlier than the ones that are here and I already had about 40 kilos of potatoes so I'm hoping that by picking up the rest I will have about a hundred kilos of potato which sounds wild that would be really cool because it would mean I would have enough potatoes to last me the whole winter probably um, so let's see quite a few potatoes that I had to throw away because they were rotting on the floor I just left them too long um, in the field I think there were about 15 kilos of really big potatoes and it was really sad so next year I'll have to remember to harvest them a little bit earlier but I think we do have 60 kilos here um, let's see let's weigh them out got 43 kilos so it's a little bit less than I was expecting 
but with the 40 kilos that I already harvested that's 80 kilos of potatoes and I'm pretty sure that I had if I had um, took them a little bit earlier I would have easily got a hundred kilos no problem so I'm happy with that I do need to find a way of storing them because I do have a cool room in the house but it's really humid and you need dry hair to be able dry hair dry air to be able to store the potatoes properly so I don't quite know if I'm gonna ask somebody to maybe um, put them in their cellar I'm quite happy with those white potatoes because uh, they got quite big and funnily enough those ones didn't rot as much it's the red ones that got most of the rot I don't know why because also those I um, I put on the floor later on than those ones so they shouldn't have rotten as much anyway maybe they don't hold as well the water but those ones are gonna be perfect for making lots of jacket potatoes so I'm really excited for that now I need to separate them by size and make sure that they are all in good shape and then I need to leave them under the Sun for like a few days that's a neighbor of mine that suggested to do that because that way they dry off and it's less likely that they're gonna get mold but it's gonna rain soon so I'm gonna do that tomorrow but uh, before I say goodbye I'm gonna show you one more thing this is what I wanted to show you <laughs> this is Charlie this is Zucca new buddy um, he's actually already found a home so he's not gonna be staying with us very long but uh, him and Zucca love each other they play all the time and they're really funny to watch so maybe in the next video i will show uh more footage of them playing anyhow uh i think it's really gonna start to rain very hard so i'm gonna say goodbye don't forget to go get ahead and click in the link in the description bar to get 50 percent off on your first starter kit from blue land and we will see you next time say bye 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 guys bye bye guys If you're all set on soap but are looking for more sustainable If you're all set on soap but are looking If you're all set on soap but are looking for more sus <laughs> <laughs>